Hello, this video is going to walk through uh, the remediation of a PDF file using Abby Fine Reader 15. I'm going to start from the top and walk through the whole process. So I have launched Abby Fine Reader PDF 15 and we're going to first open up our document in OCR editor. All right, so I have my document that has been scanned uh, within Abby Fine Reader. And the first thing <coughs> that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to select recognize so that it will apply English OCR to all of the pages. And it takes just a moment to process all of these. And now, in my thumbnail pane, I could jump to different files. I have my text pane, excuse me, the image pane, where I can see visually what the PDF looks like. And then I have the text pane where I can make edits to any of the OCR. Now, the first thing that I'm personally going to do, I like to delete some of the zones out that are decorative or don't really affect the quality of the PDF. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this image zone at the top of page one and select delete. And then I can see that our text on the first page came through appropriately. And I'm going to move on to page two. Page two has all of the, the text zoned appropriately as text. There's no changes needed there. And then we have some text. I'm just uh, verifying that the spelling is okay in our text pane. Let's go to page four. <clears throat> Looks like we have a table of contents. This is gonna have to be updated in Adobe Acrobat. Now, whenever you change a text zone, it's important that you re-recognize the page to apply that zone. Let's move on to page five. Uh, I like to delete the header and footer information for accessibility purposes. Whenever you're deleting fields, you do not need to run the recognition again. Go to page six. And let's see. We have some random characters here. I'm going to change this table zone type to a text field by right clicking and changing it to text. And then we are going to re recognize the page. And I'm zooming in to make sure that the quality is correct. <clears throat> Abby will highlight the content in blue for low confidence characters. And I am just validating that it looks good. It looks correct to me. The scan of this document really isn't the best that I've seen. All right. I'm going to delete the header. And I'm going to change these tag types to text because they are not, they don't need to be a table. If we wanted to get fancy in this section here, this looks to be like a definition list. I'm just gonna uh, kind of rezone it on my own. This will also help with the reading order. So I'm gonna select the first word there that is trying to be defined. And then we can draw an individual box around each new section. And this is going to keep my reading order nice. And it's also going to separate the tags appropriately when we do an export. Now I'm drawing my boxes kind of funny because I don't want them to overlap. And if they do overlap, I'm going to need to go back and fix them. I'm holding uh, 
the control key with the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. We're almost done with this page. My zones are not pretty, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. As long as the text is zoned appropriately. Now let's select recognize page. And it looks pretty good. We're going to set our reading order, just making sure it's good. It is, we've got the one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right, off to uh, page eight. Again, I am deleting the headers out um, as I don't want them to come through when I export. Uh, there is another way to do this. Uh, there's an option for keep headers and footers, but it doesn't always work the way I want it to. So I'm not going to use it. All right. This page looks like it was zoned appropriately, but it has some errors on these equations. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to make these images as it's going to be easier to apply all text. So I deleted the zone. Now I'm reapplying the zones. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the reading order tool and select the first element, the second, third, fourth, fifth, to make sure it's in the correct order. And then I actually need to recognize the page once more. And this made it to where those equations come through appropriately. Now we're going to have to apply alt text to this later on, but for now that works. Now on a page nine, again, deleting the header. We have our text in here. Just validating that the OCR is good. Looks good to me. Deleting the page number on the bottom. The header. And then sometimes uh, the OCR will try to make words out of everything. This is clearly supposed to be an image. And then in this section, we have some icons uh, we can apply images to. So I'm going to rezone this page just a, a little bit. And then we're going to set the reading order. I like to sometimes separate the text because it will export it as individual tags, which can be really handy. All right, now that we have the zone set up, I'm gonna reorder it using the reading order little icon here. Uh, and you simply click the zones in the order that you want them to appear. I feel like the system could be improved, but it is what it is. All right, there we go. And then I don't remember if I recognize the page, so we're just going to do that one more time. Perfect. Now let's move on to page 11. I'm deleting the header and the footer. Doing a brief scan looks good. Go to page 12. I move the header, move the footer. We have a table that looks like it was done well. The OCR on it is perfect. And then we have some equations in here. And we're going to update this section. So using my zoning tools, I have some text followed by an equation. In most cases, I would usually try to handle these equations differently. But in this document, because it's a scanned image, we're simply going to apply alternate text. And these images are a bit complicated. Um, <coughs> there's a, a tool out there that we can OCR the math equation, which is going to provide me with uh, 
law tech description that I can then paste into the alt text. All right, once that's set, we're going to select recognize page. Then we're going to select the reading order tool just to make sure we're in the right order. And that looks good. Let's go to page 12, 13, I mean. All right, we've got more equations. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and just delete the zone and apply an image, apply text, an image, text, image, text. text, more text, image. So this is like a little tedious, but it's not so bad because there's not that many pages like this. Once we set it, we're going to select recognize page. And this looks pretty good. Our text page is coming through fine. No issues so far. Let's move on to the next page. Uh, in this example, it was able to identify it on its own. I'm just reviewing some of the OCR. It looks pretty good. No major issues in here. All right, page 15. I'm going to delete that header zone at the top. Delete the page number. All right, let's take a look at this page. Table. This content looks correct according to our uh, text panel over here. Now, this these words are kind of weird. The one downside to using um, old scan documents is sometimes even the original text um, appears to be missing some characters. Either that or I really don't understand what this text is about. I'm going to leave it because this is what is in the original document. Uh, and then we're going to change this from a table to a picture. Looks pretty good. Let's re-recognize the page just to make sure. And then let's go to the next page. So this one doesn't require anything. It came through good. The image is there. OCR is clean, and I know that because I can validate it in the text panel on the right. Again, this page looks good. I'm deleting the header. We've got our image. We've got a table that looks appropriately split up. This is certainly a very odd table, um, but we're going to leave it as is. All right, moving on to the next page, we have a couple of images. We're just going to make them a little bit bigger because they have these labels on there. And whenever we do that, we do need to re-recognize the page. one deleting the header and the footer page looks good two this looks good page 23 deleting the header and the footer and last page all right so we properly uh, zoned this document everything looks good here uh, the next phase of this is I want to save my project in case there's an issue down the line and I need to re-export. So to do that, I'm going to select File, Save OCR Project, and then I'm going to place it in my Save folder. Now that we've saved that, I'm going to export my file. <clears throat> this 
So I'm exporting my file out to PDF. And I have it here in Adobe Acrobat, where I can then begin applying uh, the accessibility. But what I can also do is walk through the tags panel uh, to make sure that all of my content is appearing. And I just need to come in here and, and clean it up.